Hey, happy Sunday and welcome back to Tampa Touring. Um, you haven't seen the Zombie Glide in a hot minute and let me tell you, it's pissed me off. So, let's get into it. Alright, so I took the Zombie Glide to work the other day. Now, keep in mind it was eh, questionable whether I should have been doing that or not. Considering it's insured, it's hasn't been inspected by uh, Florida DMV yet to um, because it's got a salvage title it needs to be inspected by them um, to make sure that it's roadworthy. Uh, have you seen some of the shit that's on the roads down here? Holy crap. Anyways, so had no problem. Rode it to work 35 miles, expressway 80 miles an hour, no problems whatsoever. She ran great. And then I went and left work. Fired up. She was perfect, she was beautiful, running fine. I get uh, less than a quarter mile down the street and she starts running terribly rough. And then she quits. <sighs> Great, what's the problem? I couldn't get it to idle, it's popping out. It's just, it's running way, way rich trying to idle. Um, and what it turns out, I think, looking at everything, I didn't drop a lifter, I still got great compression, nothing's wrong there. So what's the problem? The problem I think is this little box right, ah, all this shit out, god damn boy, Jesus. That little box right there, now the sticker's gone, but notice there's little pots in there, alright? This is a very early on attempt at doing um, fuel management, turn a uh, injected bike into what people would normally do carbureted wise because us old guys we're used to doing carburetors, we're used to you know um, setting the idle mixture screws, we're used to setting uh, changing main jets as we need to, stuff like that. So what is this thing? Now, this thing is a, and it took me, it took me forever to find this. Oh my God. I mean, this is 16 year old technology or more, right? Um, so this is from Dobeck Performance and it is a TFI. Now the sticker's gone, but I was able to figure out what the hell it is. So how does this thing operate? Well, what it does is it takes and... The ECU is telling the injectors to fire, right? And the injectors are basically got a hot and a ground. And when it grounds out the other side, it allows the jet injector to fire, tells the injector to fire. What this thing does is take that signal and say, nope, I don't care what the ECU is doing. I'm going to tell it what I, how long I want it to fire for. Okay, great. So what it's doing is, I think it's now based on everything that I've done to try to troubleshoot this thing is I think it's crapped the bed and it's just dumping way too much fuel in. So it's trying to dump fuel at idle when it shouldn't be, right? Um, which is a bad, right? Basically what's happening is it's saying, hey, main jets, go ahead and start dumping fuel even though you're at idle. So yes, it could be a couple of things. Could it be a map sensor? Yes, it could be. Um, I'm not leaning towards that. It's been running fine. It's just suddenly started dumping all kinds of fuel. If it was a map sensor, unless the map sensor is saying, hey, I got this high flow of air, it shouldn't be dumping that much fuel. All right? um, that's what I'm thinking is happening. So what we're going to end up having to do on this thing, and I don't know, um, I haven't made up my mind yet, but it has... I did the, and you can go back and look in the previous videos, I did the SNS Sidewinder 2 and the 1. I do have a ghost pipe on it. Um, this is actually set up for wideband sensors. So the uh, rear one is back here, and the front one is down below here. So one of my options, and uh, please comment, throw something down below, tell me what you think, um, would be a viable option. But... I could easily, since it's got the ports for the wideband O2 sensors, I could very easily put a Thundermax on it. Yes, I know, Thundermax are Alpha N, and it's just based on throttle position and stuff, but it would be better than having what's going on. Or, 
I could get stock O2 sensors for it and put those in. I do have the adapters that go from the 18 millimeter to 12 millimeter bungs. That's not a problem. I can I can do that. That's just that's easy. So this thing has O2 eliminators on it. Let's see if I can freaking find one here. Um, so I had to pull the ECU to find the back one. So what it's doing is it's plugging the stock O2 sensor ports and uh, so that the ECM doesn't throw an error code that there's no O2 sensors. So that is potentially um, could potentially be an issue as well. I did actually pull both of those off and I checked the resistance. Um, one, they're, they're way off. There's a big difference between the resistance on each one of them. So it is possible that one of those went bad. Um, I don't know at this point. I'm still playing guessing games. I'm still checking it out. But the... Uh, now these are after cleaning these plugs. I don't know how well this is going to show up um, if it'll focus on it. But that plug was just absolutely, absolutely black. Um, it was terribly rich. So that's what's going on with the Zombie Glide. So she's back in the garage, sitting up here, waiting for me to make a decision on what it is I'm going to do with the bloody thing. Um, as far as getting firing it up and getting it uh, running again. Uh, she handled well. Um, I will say for a bike that was crashed, uh, you can go back and look at There's a bunch of videos on it um, as I was working through that process of building it. But now we're sitting in the garage again. Great. Just what I always wanted. Um, which was a real pain in the ass because I had to get... I had to have the... <laughs> The wife come when she got done with work come get me bring me home go get my trailer go back out to work and put the bike in the trailer bring it home get it off the trailer get it back in the garage not running um that was a freaking joy and a half because it took forever because we're doing rush hour traffic on 275 in tampa between you know Tampa and Clearwater area, you you know if you've ever been in this area, traffic at rush hour is just stupid. Um, but it is what it is, and now I got to figure out what I'm going to do. So next time you see the Zombie Glide, uh, hopefully she'll be running, and we'll see where we go from there. So until then, ride fast, take chances. See ya.